So I'm going to, I'm going to start off, take you to a cave in southern Germany called Hohlenstein Stadel. And I hope the fluent German speakers will uh, be happy with my accent there. So this cave is significant because it is where a statue referred to as the Lion Man was discovered. Carved from, from mammoth tusk, the statue depicts a human body, but with a lion's head. Now the significance of the Lion Man is that we know from carbon dating that it was carved approximately 40,000 years ago. And that makes it the oldest known example of figurative or imaginative art. In other words, incredibly, this statue maker made something that they knew did not exist. This artifact represents the point in time that humanity first manifested the ability to imagine the non-existent. Now, history tells us that following the making of the Lion Man statue, humanity's innovation advanced exponentially. The ability to imagine the unknown and ask what if triggered what scientists and philosophers refer to as a cognitive revolution. The philosopher and computer scientist Judea Pearl credits this rapid advancement to what he defines as counterfactual thinking. Counterfactual thinking gave humans flexibility and the ability to reflect and improve on past actions. Counterfactual thinking challenges us to do things better and relates beautifully to design thinking, the design thinking goal of improving the human experience. Design thinking is defined as an approach to innovation to transform the way organizations develop products, services, processes, and strategy. It is a problem-solving process. This approach is human-centered, and I'm gonna emphasize this, meaning that the human perspective is at the forefront in every step of the problem-solving process. Design thinking is deeply connected to creative thinking. And you might think, oh, no, I'm not really that creative. But part of the attraction and power of design thinking is that the method empowers the innate creative skills of all of us to bring about positive change and results. So let me ask you, are you familiar with the concept of competitive benchmarking? In competitive benchmarking, an organization compares its performance measures and perhaps best practices to the metrics of its competitors. The idea is that what works for other top performers in our class will likely work for our, organi our organization too. An organization then strives to reach those so-called best-in-class levels. Now, design thinking goes beyond benchmarking by demanding that we start with a clean slate and identify and examine areas for improvement, and then seek as of yet unknown solutions. Using design thinking, you're going to ask yourselves what if and strive to create solutions which will be groundbreaking and innovative. Design thinking has game-changing potential. It can fire up our creative abilities and guide us in achieving groundbreaking solutions. Our brains are wired to think of obvious solutions. After all, the obvious answer is usually correct. But once we start to get beyond simple binary choices, things can get much more complex in terms of the possibilities. I, th I say things can also get much more interesting because we know we want to go beyond the obvious and conventional solutions to find ways of doing things that are truly innov innovative. Using the design thinking framework, a multitude of solutions are explored and always with the end user in mind. Merely scratching the surface is no longer good enough. It's time to dig deeper and immerse ourselves into the world of our customers to truly understand their journey. The Lion Man broke boundaries and ushered in a new way of doing things. Now let's see how design thinking can provide us with our own roadmap to achieve the extraordinary.